Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to make dynamic grouping in page related reports or Power BI or SSRS. Both of them are same so you can use the same logic in both of them. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my paginated report open up here and I have added the data source and data set from AdventureWorks view and these are the list of columns available here. I have made a separate video about how you can connect to your data source and data sets in paginated report. If you want to see that please go and check out that video as well. Now here if you want to add dynamic grouping so first of all we need to add a matrix table right. So I'm going to go to insert here and matrix here we have a couple of options matrix wizard or insert matrix. So I'm going to select regular matrix itself and drag and drop onto this canvas here. Here it is asking me for the rows columns and data. Here I'm going to select as for an example sales territory group and the data is actually the sales amount. That's it. So it has added here. I don't want to add any kind of columns here. Now if I view this report let me zoom this one and you see you, we are getting this value as sales territory group and then sales amount. So it is not formatted yet so we can format that option that's okay and here we have sales territory group Europe North America and Pacific. So now let's say for an example if you got the business requirement that you need to give an option to the end user the how they want to see this data. They want to look into sales territory group or they want to look into sales territory region or even they can want to see by sales territory country. So it has to be dynamic. So in that case what we can do is so first of all we'll go to design view and let's format this one. For an example it has to be right align, center alignment and center alignment and if I select here I need to change the data type from here number and decimals to be round off here. Alright so now I need to create a parameter because I need to give the option to the end user so that they can select whatever they want. So first of all if I go here right click this one let me zoom this right click this one and add parameter so that it will open up the window like this one and this contains I need to give the name of a parameter and the prompt by that only it will show to the end user and this cannot be without a space sorry this this has to be without a space and this can be with a space and you need to select the data type as in this case I'm going to add the text column so it is the text column here and the parameter to be visible here and here there are a couple of options allow blank values to tick I don't want to do that allow null values I don't want to do that allow multiple values I don't want to do that so user can select only one value at a time so the select parameter visibility is actually visible means visible to the end user hidden means it will be not visible to the end user and internal means if you want to calculate for some other calculations you can use that and here in the available values I just added manually here using click add option by using this specific values. So if I click on add here then I can give it a name here I am given as sales territory region and I have given the value as region and sales territory group I have given the value as group here. So if you want to add one more thing here like sales territory country country and here I want to select as country right so these are three cases and in the default values I just use the region so whenever the report load initially it will be by region here also I have select option here specify values that's it if I click ok here then the parameter is added here and now the next challenge is about this one I am going to remove this one and also this one remove completely here and add a name as category just for a case here because our main focus is this one the heading also we can change dynamically 
So if you look at here, if I click on this one, and if you look at here, these are the row groups and this is the column groups at the bottom of your screen, right? So let me zoom this here. Here's the one. So this is the main group which we created initially. Now we need to click on this one and go to group properties. If you click here, it will open up a group properties here and you can see this now change name and group expression to be this one and the group on sales territory group. Here what I will do is I will just click on FX icon. It will open up a new window here. I'm going to remove this from this one and here you can see the parameters. Click here and in the values you have the group by. This is the parameter which we have created here which is here group by and selecting this double click here it will add up here parameters group by dot value right and here in our case actually we need to pass an if condition because we have a couple of things but we have not um, specify the column names right so for that we need to use if condition iif which is here in the paginator report we need to use this instead of regular if we need to use double i f and if the parameter dot value equal to region in that case i need the value from the sales territory i need to select here the category as a data set one in the field section and here i need to look for sales territory group region because i use the region here now i need to use comma and here as we have given the three uh, options so we need to use multiple if conditions you can also use a switch functions that's also totally fine here I'm going to select this same copy paste here and is equal to uh, group comma so if it is a group then I need the sales territory by group if it is not then I want this to be sales territory by country that is the last option now I'm going to close this one which is for this if condition and one more bracket which is for this if condition that's it now click on ok here so this will be an fx formula now and click on ok to exit this is fine right so if you want to add the same thing on the heading also we'll do that in a minute so now before looking into this one what we have done here on the groupings for this one like if i go again to group properties and click on this fx icon and here I get the list of uh, whatever the calculation I had done. I just need to copy this and then I need to add this the same logic here. So right click this row cell and then click on expression and add the same thing here because then only it will display those values into that category. Right. And also on the category, that's the heading we have given, right? So that's actually not preferred one. So if you want to change that, you can right click on this text box and then on the cell and then click on expression and here also you can just type this one let me zoom this if it is a region then you can type the heading here as sales by region it's our custom name so we can provide that and then if it is the group then you can type it here sales by group and if it is by country then we can define this as sales by uh, let me copy this again sales by country that's it so and then click on ok now so now let's publish this into power bi service i have logged into my microsoft account and here and click on publish here and when you publish this one make sure you have the power bi premium license or power bi premium per user license here I'm selecting this one says and I'm going to select on this one if you want to give a new name you can give it new name here and then click on publish if it is already there then it will ask you for the overwrite yes I want to overwrite this one click on OK Okay, this has some issues so let's click on this one and then if I go to here and properties this if I right click here and expression um, I miss this one bracket here that is why it is not publishing so I need to close one bracket for this if condition and one other bracket for and another bracket for this if condition and click on OK 
now this is click here and publish this one this is a good thing right it there is an error in the formula before we checking this one we also have option here we can click on run and then view the report but i just want to click check it on pub service itself so selecting this one and selecting this name and click on publish all right yes all right now this is updated in power bi service let's go to power bi service this is the report and here for information i have just click on this one and click on manage and added the data source to get a connection with the gateway to communicate to my on prem server on prem database right this is how it connected i have made a separate video on this as well please go and check out that video as well so now clicking on this one adventure works demo and this is actually for dynamic grouping right so first of all it will load the report and then it will also give the list of rows which it returns from that table so now if you see here right now i have selected by region so it has given all the value by region and these are the sales amount and also the heading is sales by region if i go to change here and select on group here and then click on view report on the right side then again it will load the report and this time it should give the result by group see here now the heading is also sales by group and then all the sales related group has been assigned here and show up here and also the so total sales also calculated dynamically based on that grouping this is really amazing right so you don't need to create multiple tables and then show and hide based on the selection but keeping just one table and then you can just use this dynamic grouping option with the help of a parameter and change the expressions on the group property of this table and then that's it you are good to go ahead and you can just do this dynamic grouping in paginated report if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video